guys, it's Leandra. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience at the Frankfurt Book Fair this year. For those of you who don't know, the annual Frankfurt Book Fair, or the Frankfurter Buchmesse as it's called in German, is actually the world's biggest book trade fair. It is basically a convention where all the publishing companies that you've ever heard of come together, present their new reads, present their new copies of their books, and you can walk around, see all the new stuff. Some authors even come to do signings. I've never personally been to book con before, but that might be a sort of event to compare it to since it is a convention and it is about books and publishing companies. It is also an international book fair, so there are publishers from all over the world, from Asia, from Germany, from America, from England, from South America, from all over Europe. There are so many publishing companies that come together and present their new books and their new material, whether that be art books, fiction books, non-fiction books, autobiographies, uh, do-it-yourself books, self-help books, cookbooks, whatever, you name it it is probably gonna be there. I've been going since I was about 14 years old, so that's been about eight years now. A good friend of mine actually introduced me to the Frankfurt Book Fair, and I've been going ever since. It is really, really fun. I really enjoy just walking through the aisles, looking at the new books that have been published, gaining some inspiration as to maybe what I'd like to read next. Sometimes famous authors come. For example, Jennifer L. Armentrout came last year and I got my cover of Half Blood, her signed. It's such a pretty signature. I actually saw Cassie Clare last year. We watched an interview that she did when Lord of Shadows came out and it was just really cool to see her talk about her books. Unfortunately, I didn't get my book signed by her like I wanted to. The queue was so fucking long. There were so many queue jumpers and people who cut in front of me that by the time I got to sort of semi the front, she actually had to leave. And I was really, really bummed out about that. But I definitely hope that maybe next year I'll be able to see some more authors that I want to meet. It would be an absolute dream come true if like Rochelle Mead would come to the book fair or something. But the most fun thing is actually that the English speaking publishing houses actually sell their books for like really, really, really cheap on the Saturday and Sunday, which is the two days that public visitors can come which isn't actually the case in the German speaking area, like the German books, which is actually the biggest area, obviously because we're in Germany. You can actually buy books there, but they're never sold at a cheaper price, whereas English books are just like given away. You can get them for like two euros. So basically, I also just go there to find new reads that I'm super excited about, and I actually have a haul for you guys, which I'd love to share with you. But before I get to that, I am going to show you guys the clip that I made of the videos that I made while I was trying to vlog very unsuccessfully, apparently, at the book fair. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. So we're about to leave. It is 8.30 in the morning, which is like super early. I usually get up way later and I have some Earl Grey tea to keep me awake on the drive over. There'll probably be loads and loads of traffic and I'm really not looking forward to getting stuck in it. But yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah, let's go. It's madness. 
madness. So I am actually going to give you guys my haul of all the books that I purchased. Let's jump right in. The first book that I got was Gregor the Overlander by Susanna Collins. If I'm not mistaken, I think that this is the only other book series or books that Susanna Collins actually wrote in addition to her Hunger Games books. Um, I know this is a middle grade series, but I was always very, very interested in reading some of her other writing besides the Hunger Games. So when I saw this for like $2.50 or something, I was like, yes, I have to pick it up. So basically the premise of this book is that there is this guy called Gregor who discovers this magical and secretive underland under the streets of New York. In the underland, humans actually live side by side with like giants and spiders spiders and rats and cockroaches and bats and so on and so forth and there is basically this prophecy that actually includes him in the underland. I am excited to read this sometime in the future. I don't know when I will get to it. I've always been very interested in her writing. The Hunger Games is a phenomenal series. I absolutely love her writing style. So I'd also be very interested in seeing how that kind of writing style translates onto a middle grade level. The next book that I got is Undercover Princess by Connie Glynn. This book is about an ordinary girl named Lottie and a princess named Ellie. They meet at a boarding school. Basically, Lottie really really wants to be a princess and Ellie really really just wants to be an ordinary person so they decide to switch roles. From what I understand I think that this is kind of like a retelling of The Prince and the Pauper. I'm super excited to get to this book. I actually got this from the Penguin Random House sale which they have every year on the Sunday at like 11 a.m. and it is always super crazy. There are like people pushing and you can't like do anything. You can't move. You Like the books are set up. You have you have it takes you so long to like go around. Um, you probably saw that in like the segment in my video. But yeah, I got this for half price. Connie Glenn, the author, is actually a very, very famous YouTuber. I will link her channel down below if you guys want to go check her out. And she wrote a book and I love princesses. And I don't know if this is considered middle grade or YA, but I've always been so obsessed with like princesses and stories and royalty. It's why I just love like the selection series so much and it's why I love the princess diaries. So I am really excited that I got this book. The third book that I got is The Bone Witch by Rin Chupico. I am really sorry if I'm mispronouncing the surname of the author. I actually got this book for free. It was given to me. There was a really, really sweet lady over there that just handed this book to me. I asked her how much it was and she just gave it to me for free. So thank you, thank you so much, whoever you are. It is basically about a witch called T who accidentally raises her brother from the dead and she basically discovers that she has this thing called bone magic, which I'm assuming has something to do with necromancy. She leaves her home to go learn more about her powers from another bone witch. And it's also about certain kingdoms with wars. And I am really excited to get to this book. I haven't actually ever heard of it until I saw it on the shelves at the book fair, but it just like instantly drew my eye. I think the cover is absolutely gorgeous. The idea of a witch with like a necromancy gift is really fascinating. And I definitely hope that I will enjoy this book. The fourth book that I got is The Mere Wife by Maria Devada Headley. So if I'm not mistaken, this is actually a retelling of, I don't know if it's a movie or book called Beowulf. I have never heard of it like ever actually. I would definitely have to like actually research like what that story is about. This is about a place called Herit Hall which is a community or like a suburban community that is basically like a paradise. Everything runs really really smoothly for the people who live inside of it but for the people who live outside of Herit Hall it is basically this fortress that is really intimidating and they don't understand like who these people are who are living there, I suppose. It is about two boys called Dylan and Gren. Dylan actually lives in Herit Hall and is living this charming life with like parties and his mom is taking him everywhere he wants to go and he has like everything he needs. And Gren who lives outside of Herit Hall. And it is basically about Gren actually running away into Herit Hall with Dylan and them going off on an adventure together. I don't know anything more but that, but it sounds really exciting and I am really interested in getting into it. The cover sort of grabbed my eye. I don't know, it was it was really interesting. I've never heard of Beowulf before, but I am definitely gonna go check out what that is. The next book that I got is Life Eternal by Yvonne Woon. I didn't actually realize this until I got home. This is actually the second book in a series. It is the sequel to her previous novel called Dead Beautiful. I 
don't really know what this book is about other than that it is about a girl who has a boyfriend who saved her life and he is an undead. I don't really want to reveal any more than that because for those of you who maybe read the first book don't want to get spoiled or I don't know I first need to figure out where I'm gonna get the first book so that I can read that before I read this but it sounds really intriguing and it looked really interesting on the shelf so that's why I picked it up. The next book that I picked up is Esme's Wish by Elizabeth Foster. This book I the cover is just so gorgeous like I like I can't even I don't know what it is about this cover I think it is absolutely beautiful and I just had to have it it was so so gorgeous it is about a girl called Esme whose father is getting remarried because her mother Ariane supposedly was lost at sea Esme doesn't really think that's truth she thinks that something is being covered up that there is something amiss she then runs off to this kingdom called Aeolia in order Order to find out what happens to her mom. This synopsis just really intrigued me as well. I think that it's very interesting. I love stories about missing people who aren't really missing or whatever and I think the cover was just so gorgeous which is why I picked it up. And the final book that I have to show you guys is Convergence by Marita Smith. This book is about a scientist named Robin Green who is trying to find this gene that allows human beings to talk to animals. For years and years and years she thinks that this gene doesn't exist and basically she has given up hope in trying to find it when suddenly she finds this genetic mutation. She finds out that her boss is actually part of the MRI and they basically want to exploit what she has found out about this genetic mutation. And while she's trying to protect what she's found, she also runs into three people or young teenagers and basically everything just unfolds and she learns a lot about what the MRI is after and this mutation and it just sounds incredibly interesting. I love a good fantasy sci-fi. I think it sounded really interesting. All right, I think that I'm gonna have to wrap this video up before the sunlight is gone. I think this video is already probably very, very dark and I apologize for that. Let me know if you guys have read any of the books that I hauled today. What did you guys think of them? Did you guys like them? And also let me know if any of you guys have actually been to the Frankfurt Book Fair before. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I bring out videos every week and I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys soon. Bye!